What's up? I'm Skilla and this is Nerd Stuff with Skilla and last night the finale episode of Marvel's The Inhumans came on. There will be spoilers in this video so if you care to watch Marvel's The Inhumans and don't want to get spoiled on it then uh, go watch it I guess. And you know it might have been the best episode this season. That's not saying much so don't get your hopes up. They decide to evacuate Adelan because Maximus is about to blow the whole thing up because he's a douche. He doesn't care whether he lives or dies. He doesn't care if he kills everybody. Karnak says later in the episode he doesn't have sophisticated knowledge of electronics and stuff. So he has failed to realize that he's about to blow everything up. Uh, regardless of whether he puts his hand on the little thing or not. We never even see him ever attempt to go and stop this. the shields from going away. He gets Bernaja to tell him what his fate is and Bernaja's like you're the soul king of Adelan and it comes back to that later in the episode. Triton has like a Blade Runner fight scene who just pops up and kills these four dudes even though they had ample time to shoot him. Two of the best fight scenes in the entire series were in this episode and I don't think that together they added up to more than 20 seconds of film if that tells you anything. We actually saw Triton like jump through these dudes and slice them up. That was good. It wasn't shot in the dark. Black Bolt takes down like five dudes and shoves them all into a closet kind of thing. And it's shot in the light and you act you actually can see action happening for a second. It was it was great. <laughs> it was just fantastic to actually see him shove somebody. Fantastic. Now I believe that all those guys probably died because I don't remember anybody going back to save them. So they're they're dead. They're dead. Black Bolt killed those guys. <laughs> Karnak and Gorgon have both been captured and put into the big circular silent prison because apparently that's the only prison they have in Adelan is the one that they built to protect Black Bolt. And uh, maybe it was just the strongest thing around or they just didn't know any better because apparently it was only built to withstand sonic blast rather than uh, somebody kicking it. Gorgon just stomps through the wall and then they leave. What a great prison. Now something that's bothered me through this whole series is Gorgon's whole inhuman ability, other than being pretty strong, is that he has horse feet and he has hooves. And you, I think you saw them in the first episode and that is it. I don't think we've seen them again, even though he's back on Adelan and like been there for a minute. They never, I don't know, I mean, he's been dead and then come back and now he's like all weird and hunched over the, the, the whole episode. He's like, mm hmm. He's, I don't know if that was just like, be a toned down Frankenstein. Let's do that. <laughs> and sometimes he talks a little bit and Karnak feels bad about it. <laughs> oh boy. There's a point where Black Bolt says he didn't want to be king. Later in the episode, it's revealed that Maximus forged the document that angered Black Bolt so much that he asked his parents why, which killed them. And... And so it's all Maximus's fault, even though Black Bolt knew that he wasn't supposed to say words in his parents' direction. <sighs> and <laughs> God. Crystal it teleports to NASA while Luis and Medusa are there trying to convince this guy to help them. And he's like, oh, uh, uh, I guess we'll help you then because I just saw something crazy. And that's where they're going to teleport everybody to. They're going to all walk through Eldrick's door. Declan is dead and so that ties up one loose end. Let's see how the others do. We go back to Louise and she gives Medusa her little rocket ship that was her dad's and she says take my dad to the moon because she's trying to get Medusa to take her to the moon. Medusa's like no you'll just die you dumb lady. And so Medusa goes back and buries the rocket under a pile of rocks and then she leaves. And Black Bolt spends so much time trying to get Maximus to like I don't know, just trying to get him to not be a terrible person, I guess. I don't really understand why he spent so much time there. He locked him in the bunker where he has plenty of water and food and he'll just live there until he can't live anymore, I guess. Um, that's all. Hmm. It just is not cohesive. It doesn't fit together like a puzzle, like a good TV show should be. And... <sighs> I'm sad that I've watched every episode. <laughs> it's just, 
it, it, it wasn't, even the finale wasn't even really triumphant. It was probably the best episode of the season just because we didn't have all of that excess bullshit going on. While that is good about it, and while we actually got to see some action happen, we only saw, the only inhuman abilities we saw in this whole episode are Crystal teleporting with Lockjaw. Crystal didn't even use her powers at all, which cannot cost that much money for her to just do something with it. I think we only actually saw her use it maybe twice in the series, possibly three times. We see Black Bolt speak for the first time and he says, goodbye, brother, and like, explodes the entrance of this building, but he's speaking at full volume and in the comics that would mean like all of Adelan is destroyed now. We didn't even need the shield to break and ruin everything because Black Bolt just spoke. <sighs> Medusa, we didn't see, we saw her abilities poorly done in the first episode and that was it. You, the, you know who we saw the most of as far as inhuman abilities are concerned? Bronaja. That's who we saw the most of. Because every time Max is feeling insecure, he goes and grasps him, and then Bronaja lies to him, and <laughs> that's it. That's all of the inhuman stuff you got in this show, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I sincerely hope that the molten pile of human excrement that this TV show was does not follow around the good actors in this show and, like, mess up their careers in any way. It's a lot easier for a lot of actors to make comebacks now, but... I just really hope that this doesn't affect good actors poorly. Because sometimes things like uh, a scene not hitting the right beats is generally the director's fault. The director could have had them say their lines again, had reshot things, but because the production was so bogged down with really crappy situations, like, I feel like that just killed every bit of momentum that the show could have had. But that's about it, I guess. The show was terrible, start to finish. This episode was meh, but it was the season finale. And if a season finale is meh, then there is a problem. <laughs> I sincerely hope that the next Marvel shows to come out are better than this. I'm still enjoying The Gifted, and um, you know, we'll see. <laughs> Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you want to hear about more nerdy stuff from me. Drop a comment down below with your final thoughts on Marvel's The Inhumans. And as always, thank you so much for watching.